Hey guys, it's Tony here and welcome to my YouTube channel. Welcome to Let's Talk Crypto, where we talk about everything crypto and we create videos, you know, to help you make better decisions, either as a crypto trader or an investor. My name is Tony. On the program today, we're actually going to be talking about why your NFTs haven't sold. <music> It's actually great to to have you uh be able to to join us so we'll just go straight into all right what we have for today and i was just before i lost you right there the first question i asked you is yeah is the fact that you should tell us a little more about yourself right okay. and how you started out as a visual artist like how did you come up how did that become a part of you okay um okay so i let me just introduce myself my name is torera and i'm a digital artist a pencil artist and a 2d animator i started drawing in 2018 i started with charcoal and pencil um powder but i later evolved into digital art because we all know that the world is going digital yeah i evolved in 2020 mm -hmm. yeah i started working at an animation studio and i I was surrounded with a lot of, or I am still working there. I'm surrounded with, surrounded with a lot of digital artists. So I had to learn this myself with other people in the studio. And then I heard about NFT in 20, the last year, 2021. That was the beginning of the year. But I couldn't participate in the NFT because Nigeria, you know, the, the government banned Twitter. So I had to like yeah. stay back to you later. I think towards the end of the year. So it was my friend Oho Anete that introduced me to the NFT space. And so that's that's okay. it pretty much from 2018 to when I joined the NFT. Yeah. Okay, fantastic. So let's just go over some of the comments uh from from some of the people who are watching right there. Uh Tolu okay. Paul says forgive her. Ah Tori Rab, yeah. Thank you're you. getting a lot of people who are saying they're actually agreeing, right? That we should forgive you. So, I'm this, so uh, the sorry. Video, so it's, it's Nigeria <laughs> problem. Forgive her please um thank you that mayor ogun says welcome you're welcome thank you thank you uh thompson says you're forgiven ma'am i'll go uh -huh. like i have like very lovely lovely people so uh coming back to you uh Torera, now at what point do you start considering selling your arts as nfts like you've you've taken us through how you're able to evolve from you know when you started drawing up until when you got people or started learning from people who are doing it like so much so at what point did you like take it serious that man i'm going like full into nft it was in august august last year i mean okay. <laughs> things 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 but everything was just you not know, the struggle now here in nigeria yeah. a lot of things was not really going well and i had a business that i run but i was just, I was just trying to balance the whole thing that okay i can put more time in my arts and sell it like I see a lot of Nigerians, a lot of Nigerians in the NFT space. I see them on Instagram. The person I introduced into the NFT space, he was also doing it, always posting. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I told myself that if this guy can do it, I can also do it. So I just told myself that this, the first three months, August, September, October, I was not, I didn't mint my work. I didn't do anything. All I did was I joined um, spaces on Twitter and Clubhouse. And I was just listening to people speak. I was listening to their experiences, their strategies, the marketing strategies they use. Because then when I joined, my friend, I told my friend that I have a lot of nice artworks. I can just decide to go and mint my work. And that's the mistake. I know I'm right now, I might just be going, the question that you're asking me now I might just be diverting. But the mistake that people <laughs> make is they just put their work out there. And I'm happy that my mm. friend, my friend told me that if I put my work out there do i know anybody he said i don't know i, I was like i don't know anybody and that's the thing the, no matter how you know a lot of people in, in the real world that's like the traditional world there's a difference between that world and the nft space so people mm -hmm. know me in the, in the real world but people don't really know me in the space so i decided to spend three months yeah i decided to spend so if you're if you're listening i think what you should do don't just put your work out there join the twitter space try to connect with people try to um listen to people's marketing strategy there, there are a lot of people that we won't spend four months six months just so you won't make mistakes because a lot of people now they put their work i know some of my friends that started and they're no more doing nft again because they're tired you have to put the work, put the work there <laughs> yeah so that's all i can say if you want to when you're starting 
join spaces on twitter ask questions yeah very Try important guys it. i hope you're taking notes right so yes. that you can be able to Absolutely. like later go back and read what she's sharing like these are like very valuable lessons so she didn't just put her work out there right yeah. she she first of all started connecting with other communities other nft communities joining spaces on twitter so these are the things and you should take notes, right good because these are the things that contribute to the reason why you're not able to sell your NFT. We are still going deeper because we have more questions for her. So, um, Tara, thank you for sharing that wisdom. Like that's like pretty much uh, very deep. Um, so guys, your questions uh, for any question you have, please send it in using the comment section. I'll definitely pick it up and ask Tara. So let's now go through that process, right? So we now know you that you've, you've recorded, like you have a track record of being able to list and sell your NFT. So, how was that process like what are what are like the hurdles you would say you faced when doing that did you sell your first okay. ever nft so that's it so i didn't get what you said please the last yeah so, yeah please. so i was like your first nft to, that you ever minted like did you make did you sell it or it was a total failure and then you came back like take us through that process oh oh no 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 uh, Oh, after spending three months, I already understood NFT to an extent, I, even though I'm still learning. But before I minted my work, I had to, I had to, I wrote down a lot of people. I took note of people that are, were successful in the NFT space, are still successful. I went to check their OpenSea page, the amount of works they listed. You know, it might be twenty, it might be five, but your first, your first collection is that, like you can make the mistake. Is allowed because that's your first time, but I listed, I think I listed about five or six. And okay. I sold out with I sold out within two months. And that's because of the community. That's why everything still boils down to community, community. and friendship. Like making genuine friendship in the NFT space. I remember when I was on Instagram, somebody, a friend of mine reposted my work on her Instagram. And somebody that somebody that bought her work saw my work and I was like, wow. He lost my work and he bought my work and he told his friends, he told his other NFT people that in the NFT, other NFT collectors about my work and they bought my work. The first, the first person that bought my work was my friend that introduced me to the NFT space. When I joined, I told him about it and he shared my work to other people. And then I other kept people. on going, I kept on going on going to Twitter space. And you know the time zones are different. Different, we might yeah. be sleeping here and there to be like in the morning for some people in the afternoon mm -hmm. so i won't even like i i, I suffered it was hard work it was painful because i still have my nine to five job do you get so sometimes i don't sleep i stay awake for hours and if you if you want to be in this nft space, space let me tell you, you have to be really patient you have to mm. be patient because there were times that i spent four hours waiting for my i'll doze off i'll wake up again till they call my and it paid off because I met a lot of people. Do you get? So you have yeah. to really. So that was how I sold out my collection. People kept on um, introducing me to other collectors, and you get recommending me to other people. There was, in fact, a lot of people. Most of my collectors are not even Nigerians. A lot of majority of them are like white people. Some are from Chinese in China. Sorry. So these, these are like China. these are like the people that are patronizing you buying your NFTs. Yeah, they are, we have I have Nigerian collectors who like the community, yeah, but most of them are not from Nigeria also. And sometimes I ask them, right. Oh, how did you find me? And they just like that's why hashtags when you are putting your work out there, always use the hashtags or oh, NFT community, NFT, NFT artist. So those hashtags will bring more people to your work. So most of them told me that it was true hashtags, or I just popped up on their timeline basically so yeah and then my collection sold out i was surprised there's something in the nft space there's something like they call um on, i make them i work on open c there's something they call editions and one of one one of one art means just one artwork then editions means like 10 copies of one artwork so for my first yeah, collection yeah, collections yeah yeah so for my first collection I know this might be really technical because the the words, the terms are not really, might not really understand. But for my first collection, I did, I made like five artworks. Then four of them, they were one of one. That is one artwork. Then the, the last one, I made 10 copies of that one. 
So if but if I don't I don't know, maybe we, one day we can talk about the process of um creating an account on OpenSea and I can explain that better. But yeah, the basic yeah, you, you could just community. you could just you could just yeah, I, I was going to I was going to come to the point where you tell us what what um okay. NFT marketplace you're using. Yeah. Okay. So probably we could, you could just tell us some things on the surface level, probably later in a more conducive environment we go into details yeah. where you share your screen and you just show us the process of how you do it like in in practical terms but for now let's look at like on a surface level i'm i'm new to this but i'm an artist i'm talented i can draw right so i have i have an art that i would like to sell as nft what do i do from there okay the first thing you do is like i said you join the nft space you join yeah yeah so us. i was let, let me quickly show I was just before you came on i was actually taking them through okay. an, an article that i stumbled while i was researching and it just happened okay. to me that you talked about you mentioned it look at it the lack of community. community and i told you guys yeah. one of the reasons why you could not be selling your nft is the fact that you're not part of a community and by not being part of a community you've not built a community for yourself now the community in this case does not necessarily mean a group of people no we are talking about a group of people who are interested right so if you pay attention to what Tori has been sharing with us, out of the community she was trying to, you know, connect with, reach out to, there were certain certain people who took interest, especially, all right, into what she was doing, and then they became her clients, they became her customers, they became people patronizing her. They are not too difficult. And so, Tori, okay, let me allow okay. you. Yeah, continue. Okay. And another thing I want to say is, most of them might not even turn out to be your collector or your client. I know they, they might just be your friends. So Friend. when you joined, okay, let me just let me just say it as a, how I did my own. I was okay. always I tried to be posting my I was drawing every day and I was posting my artwork every day. I'm not saying you should do the same because it's not it's not something I've ever done. I eventually felt sick, but and I started reducing maybe three or four artworks in a week. And the way NFT space works, when they say that you are consistent, collectors or your friends or anybody, they won't want to invest because these people they are investing in your artwork they're putting a lot of money they don't want to invest in an artist that is just there for the money they want to invest yeah. in an artist that knows what she is doing or he is doing do you get so you have to be consistent when i started during that three months i was not just joining spaces so i was practicing i was drawing i was posting i was retweeting people's work i was trying to make genuine friendship in the nft space i was even like I message a lot of people, oh, this, 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 I was just asking questions, do you get? So after that, I think then in gen, and again, there's gas fee. Another reason why I wasted time, I spent three months was because I did not have gas fee. Gas fee, no, gas, gas fee, fee, gas fee simply means transaction fee. <laughs> yeah. Right. So let me, let me, these let me, let me, things let me, are terminology in crypto space. <laughs> okay. So let's say you're going to the supermarket now and you want to buy bread. You know, you have to pay to buy the bread. So that's how gas fee is. You go, you want to put your work out there, you have to pay gas fee. And the reason why I chose an um, open sea, open sea is like the largest market, and you only pay for gas fee once. Most of the other most of the oh, platforms, you have to pay for gas fee every time you're minting your work or you're listing your work. But on open sea, people use open sea because you only pay for gas fee once, and it's very, very and it's very easy. So I even made a mistake. One of the mistakes I made was I was on Clubhouse and that time I was still new. I asked a question like, oh, I want to put my work out there. What platform do you think I should use? And the lady told me that I should use OpenSea. But because I was stubborn, just like a lot of people now, I went to put my work on Foundation. And that work is still there. I must say Foundation is absolute, absolute some of my work on Foundation. But that first work, I think it's because I don't know anybody. So I was still fresh. Okay. I was still early. I had to put my work on foundation. She told me that I should that since I'm just starting, I should just go on open sea. Open sea is way easier. So I went on okay. foundation and I kept my work. The work is still there up to now. I kept that two Ethereum, that animation. I didn't want to price it low because I put in so much work, but it's still there. So that's the mistake I made. I wish I just kept it on open sea, but I forgot about it and I'm focusing on other things. So I had to now yeah. re strategize myself and I minted on open sea. So I had to save money for that again. Okay. So uh, here's a question here. Gas fee, um, just, yeah. Yeah, Gatsby. Just 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 before you continue, let's let's attend to Samuel Monday. So he says, What kind of what kind of drawing can be used for NFT? 
Um, I'm not sure, Samuel, okay. you joined when I started, but let me let me hear what Torreira will say. Then I will just stop it. Okay. Up, so we'll continue. Any, what any kind of see, anything you don't even anything can be sold as an NFT. I don't know. You can draw sand, guys. You can draw sand and sell it. <laughs> see, let me tell you. Anybody, anybody can. So far, the person resonates with your work. So far, you tell a good story. Put put down a good story. You can sell any artwork. You can sell anything in the NFT space. Let your story be unique. And most of the time, they like, people don't have anything to say. Like they don't have any story to put down there. Behind but at the same time, you just have to plan. Yeah. Just, just take take this NFT as a normal brand. Like you are a brand. See yourself as a brand and let people trust you. Be credible. You get just like the normal brand we have here now, glow. You know the you know the way glow is now. This other, let me say cars, they're always advertising themselves. They're always putting themselves out there. So if you don't create awareness for yourself in the NFT space, how can more divert? <laughs> oh my god, I've diverted. But you can put any artwork, any artwork, whether it's digital, whether it's traditional art. Traditional arts is like I'm a traditional artist, I do pencil arts. But I evolved in, I evolved into digital art, but into digital. I've seen a lot of yeah, I've been, I've seen a lot of um traditional artists that they just take pictures of their work and they put it up there so whether you are digital or traditional you can sell anything you can sell anything. animations okay. too all right fantastic so uh here's another question from thompson so um now the questions are coming in <laughs> i'm okay. not a visual artist painter 3d or 2d artist i've got no drawing okay. skills how can i benefit from this market you could just be this an is... investor Yes, exactly. Well, this, is, this, yes. <laughs> this is something that even artists are facing right now because most of them have not sold their NFT. So people are like, what can, what else can I do? You can work in the NFT space. All these projects that, that are successful, you can be there. Maybe if you have web design skills or UI or UX or, I don't know, like, you can work for them. They look for people and they pay you. I, I was in a space and the guy said, I think he pays one guy 0 0.05 every day to run his Discord channel, to run his social media page, to run all these things. So that this is why it's good for you to join all these spaces so you can connect with people. So they can, and in a month, you can make like one Ethereum. Imagine them, I don't know, I can't really calculate it, but the guy said every day they pay the social media manager 0 0.05 to run. So you don't have to be an artist. Another, another way you can make money is this one you have to save you have to invest and buy ethereum and then you collect people's works you collect people's works and you sell it again you get you sell it again and somebody buys it like i can put my somebody can buy my work now maybe for 0 0.05 you that bought my work for 0 0.5 you cannot put a higher price maybe 0 0.5 or one ethereum and somebody else will buy it from you you've made money that way you get they call it flipping in the NFT space well that's another way to make money. But don't make a mistake because there are some projects that might not be successful. That's why you always have to be in the yeah. space to know which project will be successful. So those are the only two ways I know you can make it that you can become you can make money from the NFT space if you're not an artist or a cre a creator. You can work for a project and okay. they will pay you every day. Okay. Fantastic. Fantastic. Um Olabo Day, thank you for sending me your super question. Um, and those sending in your super chats, tell me how you feel. If you love this video, leave a like. Make sure you smash, destroy the like Dude. button, guys, and get to share this video with your friends. So this person is saying, this is quite funny. Um, I minted and listed my first NFT on OpenSea for free. And then he's asking, could that be a reason I haven't sold the artwork? Like, I okay. don't get that. No, no, no. No, no, that, that's not the reason. I think, they, okay, there's something called Polygon. Polygon is another... Um, I don't, I, I don't know how to explain it, but it's like Ethereum. You know, Ethereum you have to pay, but Polygon is free. So I'm thinking this guy. Is so Polygon is like another cryptocurrency, anyway. Yeah. Another crypto. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. So Polygon is free, and I've seen a lot of people that use Polygon. Polygon. Even OpenSea, yeah, OpenSea featured a Nigerian. No, no. So she's not Nigerian. I think she's Ghanaian, but yeah, featured her work on their on their website. I might not put some features on the website. You basically sell out. So most of the time, you sell out. But I was even surprised because I didn't want to use Polygon. People don't really like using Polygon because it's stressful. Like when you want to buy the work, you have to go through some rigorous process. Like 
you have to change the polygon to another crypto to be able to so even me i, I find this, there's some atoms that i really like but i haven't bought because they are using polygon it's kind of stressful but if somebody if a collector really likes your work he will buy it she he or she will buy the work like that girl that they featured on open sea the people yeah. bought her work and they were flipping it you get so that might be i'm not saying it sees the reason but that might be a reason it could be a contributing factor it yes could contribute. because i've been in spaces where the guys like somebody was asking okay i don't have money to pay gas fee i want to use polygon and some people be like ah they don't really like using polygon because it's stressful i wish you were using the normal ethereum i would have bought it you get so some yeah. people people will still buy your work just be patient and keep pushing your work people that are really really vibe with your work will buy it but you can also start saving for ethereum gas fees you get and there are other crypto like can use there's solana there's tez so you can also try to um explore that all, one. These, but just all that, these crypto assets yeah yeah just that um ethereum is popular you get and that's it's very easy for people to use it yeah, most, so most NFTs are actually built on the on the Ethereum network. So that's sort of like yeah. where it got its popularity yeah. from, pretty much anyway. Yeah, I hope I was okay. able to answer your question. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure I'm sure you did justice to that. Um, yeah. Olabode, please, was she able to answer your question? Come on, talk to me. Use the comment section there. Just hit me up and let me know if you're satisfied. All right, with that question. I just got two questions from me, uh, Terera, so that we just uh, conclude and we call it a day. Um, okay. We've talked about OpenSea. You've mentioned foundation. What NFT marketplace would you advise somebody who is an entry level NFT creator to use? Uh, OpenSea, definitely. OpenSea. Trust me, because you're just starting and it's easier. And again, you don't want to be paying for, like, you don't want to be paying for gas fee. Other platforms, I think you need to, you have to be paying for gas fee every time like foundation you have to pay for gas fee there's solana you can try i've not really explored solana some other options a lot of, yeah there's solana but personally i'll just say start with open sea number one you have to you just pay for gas fee once you're paying for gas fee once so anytime you put your work there you're not paying for anything and it's very easy for people to go there click and buy and I want you to consider something. Anytime somebody is buying your work, they would also have, okay, they would, you're welcome, um, buddy. They would also have to pay for gas fee. Anytime somebody is buying your work. I did not know that. So you can say that you they are really invest. Yes. So you can say that these people, as I can remember that they are paying money to buy your work, they are also paying for gas fee. And gas I heard fee. that on all this other, yeah, they also, on all these other platforms, sometimes it might be high. I bought I bought works, but I wait for when the gas fee is low. I think gas fee is always low in the morning, in the midnight. So yeah, and when you want to pay for your gas fee, also don't pay when it's high. Just try to try to look for the best time. Like I think my own, I did it in the midnight and in the morning. It was a bit low. Try to look for a gas fee that is as low as forty something dollars. It's something dollars, unless. There's a period because there are times when gas fee is very, very, very high. Like it is nothing below two hundred dollars. But when it's low, just try Welcome to, look to for the best time. Network. <laughs> look for the best time to yeah. Look for the best time to um pay for your gas fee. So I'll tell you, use OpenSea. Uh, OpenSea is the best platform. Okay, okay. So I'm trying to get. I'm trying to understand this question before I put it up. Uh, that's why I was looking down there. This person okay. says I am an oil painter. How okay. would you advise me to NFT, NFT my work? I understand. <laughs> Secondly, how does it affect the original painting? Is it marketable also, or the fact that its picture is listed as NFT render it useless? Digital, no. right? We'll be talking okay. about digital since. Okay, that this th I think this one is more of traditional art. Yeah. I, I mean, have I sold? I've not. I don't think I've sold any of my traditional work because I don't paint. But I, I draw with pencil. You don't paint it. physically. So I've, yeah. So it's just his, his own paint and, might be a bit dicey. No, I've seen. It, I don't know what these other people do with the original work. I think you can still sell work. the or, or original works because it's it's physical. But the thing with 
um, the blockchain is is not fiscal. People don't really care about the fiscal unless you want to send it to them as the advantage. And you can't you but, can't you can't sell it to more than one person at a time. Like if one person yes. buys, you are simply transferring ownership of that art to the person, right? So it's the person yes. that is now in custody. Do you get so this yes. this one is a yes. bit. <laughs> So you know, I think his his question is I, I don't know his question is that the, the original painting will not become useless. You can decide to still sell it because it's is um I don't know I don't know how these people do it, but they just take pictures and upload it on um one of the platforms and they sell it. I don't know about, I don't know what whether you want what you want to use the original painting for. You can decide to or still probably sell if it. if the person you're selling to probably you you include that you have the the physical the traditional portrait or the traditional art. And the person requests for it as well. You could just also send it to the person and all that. Probably yeah, what if the person to, is you know, the value because yeah. you're selling both it as an NFT and then <laughs> I don't know. But you I might know, have to I, just I, do I something know, about I know a it. Girl. Okay, let me just give an example. I know a girl in the NFT space. She's Nigerian. She she sends the physical copy to her collectors. I think she does it for people that buy the highest work, like the highest price of her art work. She sends the physical copy to them. Sometimes even digital, she'll just frame it and send it to them. So you can decide to do that, but consider the money you would spend while you're sending it to them. Because person might be far away, you get. So but in the in the blockchain, I know that you cannot sell one. Like if you put your work on OpenSea, you cannot put that same work on another platform. You get another platform. Yeah. Yeah. So, Marvel Fred, like, I don't understand where you are seeing that figure from. <laughs> Can you imagine? I'm looking one, at the price. One Ethereum, one... <laughs> currently, one Ethereum is like 2,900. It's around 2,927 right now. How is that equivalent yeah. to 1.7 million? Maybe, maybe he checked, but yeah, do I need to have at least? No, no, you don't, you don't need to have at least 1.7 million to be a collector. See, when I started my, when I joined the NFT space, I did put my work for one Ethereum. The work, if you remember, I told you that I kept my work on foundation, on animation. I kept it at two Ethereum. That work is still there. I just joined the NFT space. Nobody knew me. But as, I'm, as, I, as I started, I kept my work at 0 0.05 because I was just starting. So, and I bought a lot of people's work that are really low. It depends on you. It depends on what you can afford. I've seen a lot of work that what 0 0.5, 0 0.5, a lot, but I can't afford it. I'll not stress myself and buy it. But it's what I can yeah, afford. True. So if you have 0 0.05, 0 0.05 is about 70 something or it's something, sorry, 160 something dollars. Yeah, so you can buy that. Just buy what you can afford. Don't put yourself in that one Ethereum. But if you have one Ethereum, yeah. So yeah, yeah. It helps. I think, yeah, it helps. I don't know if I was. I'm trying to think of when I joined the NFT space. I had I had to save up. I think I invested about 300k because that time, I think I was using it was it Binance, and you know these people they always charge. They are always collecting fee. So anytime they anytime it gets to my my wallet, wallet is like your app down more like like way we have bank apps now, but they call it Trust wallet. In the, yeah, yeah. MetaMask. Yeah. So they they kept on deducting money deducting money charging 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 so if you want to start i can just say maybe invest save up to like 200k yeah thereabouts. you okay. don't need to have Fantastic. one million yeah yeah okay so uh we're running out of time just two questions and we're done can special effects makeup artists benefit from nft come on she has answered that so um, yes, if you miss that part just Probably go back a bit. Let me let me say <laughs> sorry. Let me say something about how or like the other way. Let me say okay. something about this thing. Like I see a lot of because I used to be I'm a makeup artist, but I see a lot of makeup artists on Instagram, and I'm like, these people, what they are doing here for free, they can actually put it in the NFT space. It's just that I'm not. I'm nobody has started it. The makeup um industry is not really vibrant in the NFT in the space. Industry. So yeah. Yeah, so if somebody should start it, I'm sure people will buy because you are creative, you are an artist too. Do you get so? Like I said, you can sell anything in the NFT space. Can okay. I hire someone to? So you've heard you could, you could actually be you could actually be the first person who is going to be tapping into that industry. Um, who is yes. that again? Let me let me go back and see who asked that question. Hope, 
right? So this is for you. You could explore that possibility. And who knows, you could be the first person to ever, you know, profit from that, from that market. Because photo right? like photography, so, yeah, you know, it. NFT started, NFT started with arts. Photography was not really art. there. But see now, photography is really, really selling in the NFT space. So you can be the person that will start that. Okay, can you hire someone to do the arts, then create the NFT? See, it depends on create you and NFT. the artists. It depends on you and Whatever the artists. Because, you. <laughs> yes, it depends on you and the artists, trust me, because... I don't, I, I, I'm not sure if I've heard you can be the art creator because we have a lot of creators that okay the art maybe the artist does not have time to run that stress so you can be the art creator go through all the stress of talking about the work explaining and all of that and both of you will agree on how you share the money so it's it's it okay. is possible but you need to uh, let the artist be aware about that yeah so uh mr distinction here i asked that question because nfts are said to be yes non-fungible you're correct i think i'll keep the original copy it's your decision yeah at the end of the day yeah. um yeah so uh finally guys please do well to like this video subscribe if you're new to the channel and also get to share all right this video to your friends so as many people possible so they can benefit right from the conversation that Torera and i were having we're coming towards the end well about this is do you have a space we can plug into specifically for nfts all right first of all you need to have the twitter app it starts from there <laughs> let me allow Torera finish that up yeah you know you've already said it on twitter i don't know if they <laughs> if you can drop my um handle on twitter yeah definitely definitely just, let me let, do that now you can just say i'm from tony's um youtube live and i'll send you some spaces that you can join yeah that's from there but you need to have twitter yeah twitter app yeah and very, then i'll very just important. send you some spaces that you can join anything with okay NFT, so yeah uh, you you okay don't worry don't worry yeah, yeah go ahead go ahead <laughs> wait you're about to you say NF, yeah I, was, I just wanted to say like don't forget as, as i join the NFT space please be consistent and be patient like one thing that can hurt artists in the space is when other people are selling and they are not making money. Like some people's work can be there. Them. Yes, some people's work can be there for four months. Look at me, that my work on foundation. It has been there since October. But I didn't put my I've, I've moved on to other things. You get so you have to be consistent, keep creating, be so good, like be so good that when they see your work, they won't ignore your work you get so be consistent and be patient that's what i'm just going to drop here because a lot of people are impatient and you just leave the nft space nft is here forever it's not running away so whenever you join you will still sell you still make your money but you just have to be patient and be consistent and also contribute right, to the community thank you yeah so that's our social that's our uh twitter handle um Ola so go follow her, hit her up, send her a message, and she will share some of the spaces that you can join on Twitter to learn more, some of the communities you could reach out to. Don't forget the importance of community, right, in, in your journey to creating, listing, and then selling your NFT. She has already told us the best platform, sort of like the most easiest for you to list, right, your and sell your NFT, which is OpenSea. For more information, just go to OpenSea.io, read about whatever, um information you, you find on, on that platform i have it's something to say pretty much easy to use go ahead Tara. <laughs> okay as you as you just mentioned openc.io i just remember that there are a lot of scammers in the space like you said you true click on openc.io don't click on any other there are a lot of friends that i have in the space that they've hacked their accounts and they stole their money all the money they made they stole everything so what i do is i have to wallet two meta two wallets sorry one is my meta mask and that one is connected to my open c and i have another okay. one that is not connected to any platform so once i make money from there i just transfer it to my you move it. other yes i transfer it to the other wallet because that one is not connected to the platform you get so you have to be yeah that is actually protecting protecting yourself from being hacked right guys so it's yeah. it's very very important you're welcome. okay you're welcome buddy thank you thank you for joining everybody that tuned in thank you just one last question before i allow her go she said she was not going okay. to talk about this but she was just going to mention maybe the first so Toria, let's ask you here um just give us like a rough estimate you might not give us the exact amount right 
<laughs> just a rough for estimate first... of your first yes your first okay. your first nft collection okay, everything for my, now my how, how, many was, how many was, was it how many, how many collections how many collections was it and they were i think they were i can't really remember but there were about five five or six yeah five or six and then i made another i made another artwork for my collectors that's a gift you can also do that i think i made about i'm trying to think about maybe 0 0.75 that was what i made from that was my first and I, you, I think you should have this yeah in ethereum 0 0.75 about 0 0.75 yeah but now eh, there are a lot of my friends now i can i'm putting my work for 0 0.5 ethereum I can't if, if I want to put my work for a lower price, maybe I'm making 10 copies of one, but I don't think I want to sell myself lower again because I've already built my community. I started small and this is my collector, they've seen me grow. <laughs> you can start big grow, but me, I said to start small because I don't know anybody. So and this is my collector, they've seen me grow. So that was the first the first collection I made about 0 0.75. And the more the second collection, you can go and check, but yeah that's that's really <laughs> i don't talk about that yeah 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 so i guys, also want to advise you please don't be discouraged yeah. like a lot of nigerians are in the nft space and they are making money and this it, it has really helped a lot of nigerians to build their confidence in their crafts because you all know that people don't really value art here in our country i believe that one day people will value it but nfts have has really helped a lot of nigerians to to build confidence in their craft, to believe in themselves, to believe in what they do. So join this space as early as you can before it gets too crowded. But like I said, it's not running away anyway. So yeah, it's it's here. It's 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 a technology that is here for for let me not say forever, but then it's here, right? So tap into it, benefit from it, don't be left behind. Thank you so much. Um Tarera, we're going to let you go because it's actually getting dark at your side. We're gradually yeah. losing light. Um, guys, please use the comment section to tell us how much you love Tarera. Thank you so much. She fought through the network challenge just to make sure that she comes through, all right, for me and you. And we are grateful, Tarera. Thank you so much for spending this Thank time you. with us and sharing, like, your experience, um, everything you've, you've gone through as far as, you know, NFTs are concerned. Um, we wish you success. Keep selling. Thank keep you listening. so much. And, you know, yeah, yeah. Keep, keep, keep. I'm so sorry the for the inconvenience. Please, it was not expected <laughs> at all. It's fine. It's fine. Don't worry. We're going to have a part two. Trust me, because I, I love the excitement that is coming from everybody that's that's part. So, like I said, she might just be giving us like taking us through the step by step guide, basically, just to show you and walk you through the process of you know listing your own on OpenSea and then uh, being able to sell it, and we we'll just take it up from there. All right, Toya. This is where we let you All go. Right. Take care Thank of yourself. Thank you so much. Bye. All right. Yeah, bye. Okay, so just to address a couple of uh, questions here from Adekomi Samuel, he says, uh, Mr. Tony, please, how can I connect with you after the show? Okay, so just on your screen, at the bottom, the, the, the scroll bar there, the information on the scroll bar, you will see my community, Let's Talk Crypto, right on telegram so join the community once you join and you ask any question you ask about me i'm always there to respond to you right so just look at the the lower thought there the scroll bar you see the information so look at it there if you want to be part of the show right send in your super chats okay so that's for those who have been part of the show from the beginning thank you so much guys uh for staying tuned and staying with us and there he says again join the let's talk crypto fan base that's it all right, so you can just copy that or screenshot that part, search for that on, on Telegram, and then you're part of the community that we have. Thank you so much, guys, for joining us. And it says, yeah, please, can we get this YouTube recording? Okay, Mary, this um, this video is actually going to be available on my YouTube channel, right? So it's not going anywhere. It's right here, so you can always have access to it whenever, all right, you want. Um, Mr. Distinction says, amazing session. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Distinction. I hoped you liked this video. And you shared with your friends and finally i um i love you too thank you so much guys all right for staying tuned and you know having that patience to wait for Tara to join me despite the network challenge that we heard it's been great having this conversation with you i'm looking forward to 
you know, making more videos like this, especially if you like them, if you love videos like this, all right, let me know in the comment section as well. I'm going to be making more videos like this and bringing them your way so that we can help as many people as uh, possible make better decisions and also build a profitable portfolio for themselves either as a crypto trader or an investor right so guys till i come your way next time keep trading keep taking profits make sure you don't get your fingers burnt i will see you in my next video it's a bye for now